Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. It's Andy DeLeo, better known as Cancer Geek, and this is Observations at the end of one. Today is International Women's Day, uh, and it has a lot of significance to me, both personally and professionally. Um, personally, uh, for two main reasons, uh, both of which I typically don't talk about on social media. Uh, the first one happens to be my mother. Um, my mom uh, trained to be a nurse, um, worked uh, as a nurse, uh, caring for patients, obviously, uh, and then towards the end of her career moved into administration. Um, and the majority of my life, um, I remember my mother as an administrator in nursing home facilities, um, where she really dedicated her life to geriatric care as well as Alzheimer's disease. Um, and it was there in which spending the time with my mom, um, with the elderly patients, really planted the seed inside of me that had this love uh, for medicine, for caring for people. It taught me the importance of listening to understand and really uh, putting myself in the shoes of, of patients um, to understand uh, their needs, their desires, um, and really the care that, that they wanted um, and deserved. Um, the second reason uh, is I have a daughter uh, who is young and she's growing up um, and she sees what I do and she's very interested in the world of science and medicine um, as well as design and other things. Um, but today's important because it reassures me that all of the amazing uh, women leaders that I know inside of medicine and technology and industry um, are mentors, they're leaders, um, they're people that she can be inspired by, that she can aspire to. Uh, and more importantly, I know that those uh, women leaders um, have paved the way to make life a little bit easier for my daughter, who happens to be a minority female growing up in, in this world. In addition to that, I professionally uh, have had the privilege uh, for the majority of my career to mainly work uh, for women leaders. Um, and they've taught me a lot. Um, a few of them especially have truly impacted my life. Uh, I remember um, when I made the transition into industry, uh, my very first leader, Katrina Stromps, um, she really taught me the significance of keeping the core of who I am and never losing that focus and that connection to patients as well as what it means to deliver care and medicine, um, especially at the end of one. In addition to that, um, Heidi Meltz uh, is another leader that just taught me the importance of teamwork and culture in listening to your team members. And if you really listened to your team members and you really built out the strengths of your team to where the rest uh, of the team may have weaknesses, that you could build and produce high functioning teams that could truly change the world and take on Herculean uh, tasks that other people didn't ever think were possible. Um, in addition to that, uh, there's some very important people at ACR that oftentimes go unnoticed. Um, Becky Haynes, Trina, um, if it wasn't for the both of you, uh, there may not even ever be a cancer geek um, that has been privileged to have this platform inside of the world of diagnostic radiology. Um, so from the bottom of my heart, uh, Becky and Trina, thank you for all that you've done for me. Um, and giving me an opportunity along with the rest of ACR to have a platform and to remind radiologists to step out of the dark and into the light. Um, in addition to that, there's many radiologists and radiology leaders and radiation oncology uh, leaders that I would love to highlight and I just don't have the time, um, but I do think it is important to mention some of them. Um, Dr. McGinty, uh, Dr. Costinus, Dr. Makura, um, Dr. Cannon, um, Dr. Uh, Sinai, uh, Dr. Spears, Dr. Yi, um, Dr. Vinkoff. Um, there are so many. The, I could sit here the, the entire evening and just name off so many 
uh, female physicians that have been kind to me, that have shown me the importance of what it means to be a leader uh, inside of the world of medicine. Um, and so it's with that that I want to restate my commitment to all of you, to the world of medicine, and especially the world of radiology and radiation oncology. Um, so on International Women's Day, I want to commit three things. The first thing is, is that I commit to ensuring that we eliminate uh, and I prevent as much gender bias as I possibly can. The second thing is, is that I want to be able uh, to recognize and highlight and share the amazing achievements by women inside of the world of medicine, especially in radiology and, and radiation oncology. Um, and the, the third uh, thing that I want to share is that I'm going to continue to forge a positive visibility of women in the world of medicine and radiology. And so um, nothing is true unless you actually write it down and you commit to it. Um, and this is me sharing it publicly um, because as when I started Cancer Geek and I started with a commitment to challenge the status quo of healthcare and medicine, um, I again am reconfirming and upping uh, the fact that I choose to challenge all of you to join me in continuing the forward progress of women inside of the world of medicine and ensuring that we transition from the world of healthcare back to medicine, which means that we care for patients and we deliver that care at the end of one. Thank you for all you do and happy International Women's Day.